A stabbing at an RTA station just after the morning rush hour. It is just the latest example of violence spilling over into a public place in broad daylight. Our Jim Nelson is live tonight as we're learning more about the victim. Jim, good evening to you. What do you know about the status of that person right now? Well, Chris, the last we heard is that he's in serious condition here at Metro Health. Cleveland EMS rushing him here after that stabbing around 1030 this morning. More violence that has people who take the bus and trains a little bit on edge. It was pretty much the start of the day. Trains rolling through at the West 117th Rapid Station on the Cleveland Lakewood border. There's a lot of weird stuff that goes on up here. Uh, people acting weird. Already nervous riders learning of violence. Uh, man, I need for an ambulance to be here, like literally right like now. It's a man stabbed. Stay still. You're bleeding way worse because you keep moving. A stabbing around 10:30 in the morning. Details are still sketchy, but we've confirmed through Cleveland EMS that the victim was taken to Metro Health in serious. Condition. Condition. As RTA police launch their investigation, RTA customers have noticed some tense situations. Every once in a while, one of the stations, every once in a while, like an argument or something, you'll have people in each rapid station smoking weed or doing pills or whatever. And I mean, it's sad, but people do what they want to do. Violence has been a hot topic on trains, buses, platforms, and at other RTA facilities. At the end of last year, transit police added ambassadors to their patrol, an increased presence in hopes of interrupting violent behavior. Do you ever feel unsafe? A lot. I, I don't feel safe sitting in there. I, sometimes I come up with something in my pocket, to, a knife or something, just in case something goes on. We're still working to find out if the victim and suspect knew each other, but again, we are hearing that the victim is in serious condition here at Metro Health. Live in Cleveland, Jim Nelson, 19 News.